Hi right, y'all, it's AGP here and this is Monday. So you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> All right, y'all, so if y'all saw my last Cyberpunk 2077 video, I was talking about customization, but I told y'all I would have a full-on breakdown video about all of the customization you'll be able to do in Cyberpunk 2077. That next video is now this video. Y'all know that in Cyberpunk 2077, the, the level of customization is very high. The customization isn't just your appearance. It's actually like about six different things that you'll be able to kind of determine yourself. And those six things are appearance and street cred, your backstory and identity, your fluid classes, your attributes and perks your weapons and vehicles and your narrative of course which is last but certainly not least because y'all know they showed this to us in our 48 minute gameplay that as far as narrative goes you'll be able to choose what you want to do in whatever situations you may be in who you want to deal with if you play the witcher 3 it's going to be like that first let's jump in with attributes and street cred. <laughs> So as for your appearance, you will be able to customize your face shape, skin tone, nose length, ear height, eye color, scars, piercings, and a bunch of other things, which probably include tattoos and obviously your genitals. You can come up with different combinations of these to customize your character to exactly how you would want it to look. You'll also be able to customize their gender settings. So depending on the body type you choose, you'll be able to make their gender non-binary. So in other words, you'll be able to make them non-exclusively male or non-exclusively female, which is kind of cool because it makes it so, you know, they made it for everyone. You feel me? So everybody will be able to enjoy it and make your character however you want to make them. Now also in the game, humans can routinely alter or switch out the majority of their body parts for cybernetic alternatives, which will actually have an effect on your street cred. So so some equipment or cybernetics can help or develop a player's street cred, which as the name suggests, influences social standing and interactions. So y'all know that you can't actually join a gang or a corporation, but you will be able to decide who you want to affiliate yourself with. And a lot of it could depend on the class you choose, which we'll get into later. But those three options are techie, solo, and netrunner. And some gangs are more adept with a certain class than another one may be. Like in other words, the Voodoo Boys, I believe, are supposed to be good with either techies or net runners one of the two but whatever it is they're able to get parts and other things that will help with your hacking depending on your decisions that you make obviously your street cred will accrue and depending on the levels of where your street cred may be reaching it will open up different vendors and options so you know you'll be visiting different people to help you more customize yourself depending on the class you choose which we also saw in the 48 minute gameplay that we got either last year or the year before i don't remember it just feels like a really long time ago also apparently experimenting with cyberware will be encouraged by shards which when attached to equipment will impart some of the benefits of other augmentations as new equipment crops up in loot and as rewards offering new gameplay styles and combat options players will be able to get a taste of what's on offer before committing to full-blown augmentation replacements so basically it's like you'll get a piece that you can attach to your weapons or your person and it'll give you some attributes of some of the other class types that you will have and then depending on how you feel when using these shards that you've attached to your equipment you can start to decide which ones you want to full-blown go after so like if you want to fully go after netrunner or you want to fully go after techie or you want to fully go after solo or you can make some kind of balanced combination of two of the three or three of the three I just... <laughs> y'all so here's where it gets to be really cool as far as the customization goes because and the whole choosing what story you want to follow because depending on what you choose out of these things is what is going to open up what paths for you and what dialogue you'll be able to choose so going into it you get to choose your childhood influences a key life event and a reason for being in night city there are options for all three of those and i will tell you those right now the options for childhood influences are being a nomad being a street kid or being in corporate 
So depending on what you choose between those three will start to give you a little bit of headway into the backstory of your character. Now for the key life event, your options, and there may be more, but that they give us or tell us, at least in this article, is that it could be a sibling's death, running away from home, or your first big kill. Now for your reason for being in that city could be seeking an ex-lover, something to prove, or some unfinished business. You know what I'm saying? So as far as that goes, that's pretty cool. And you know, we'll see what combinations we all get to choose. And y'all should definitely let me know which ones y'all are gonna choose down in the comments, or at least what you think you may choose. stated earlier there are three different classes in cyberpunk 2077 that we will be able to choose from and those three classes are solo techie and netrunner now cd project red has already confirmed that you will be able to have different combinations of those three classes during combat but i will let you know the specifics of each or i should at least say the strengths of each class so for the first ones the net runners they create database weapons by plugging into the network as well as infiltrate the cybernetic components of enemies with viruses solo benefits from heightened awareness picking out traps and other threats in the environment while techies can use sabotage based hacking abilities mid fight and build traps and gadgets so we did see examples of all of these throughout the previews that they've given us the deep dive video and the 48 minute gameplay. So those are the three classes. You feel me? Now for the exciting and wild stuff, the weapons and the vehicles customization. So each V will be able to purchase different locations where they can store their vehicles and cars. They don't know what the size of that will be as far as how many cars and what types of cars. They haven't decided on that yet. But the cool part is that you will be able to summon your vehicle using AI, basically like, you know, Batman and the Batmobile, kind of like that. That's kind of fire. Apparently, it's like Roach in The Witcher 3, which again, I did not play, but if you can just summon things using AI, I mean, that's just fire. I'm gonna have my Batmobile rolling up all kinds of crazy. I'm gonna call it the Cyberpunk Mobile. The Punk Mobile? Maybe Netrunner Machine? Kit. The Techie Tempest? Solo Dolo. Night Rider. As far as the customization for the vehicles go, they do not know what the extent of that is going to be yet, but they still are working on that. Of course, we have till September 17th, so we got a little bit of time, so no worries. As for the weapons, they are fully customizable with wide ranging options for cosmetics and functional attachments. The more a player uses a particular weapon, the greater their proficiency will become with it, meaning it pays to stick with the same weapon and modify it to fit current needs and experiments. Faster reloads and heightened accuracy are among the familiarity-based perks that players can develop by finding weapons that suit their stizzizile. Yes, I said stizzizile. So that's what's up. So obviously they're saying that there will be a lot of different kinds of weapons. Once you choose one, though, it's better to upgrade it than to continuously switch out weapons as if it was Borderlands. You know, you could just find newer weapons that are just better. They're saying stick with the weapon you choose and, you know, you'll end up being OP. <laughs> the puzzle pieces so obviously as expected players will be able to allocate some free points to various attributes influencing these capabilities with the five core skills being composed of body intelligence reflexes technical and cool now there are specifics for each of them and what they do and i will get into them right now body constitutes of total strength and health intelligence denotes v's problem solving abilities reflexes affect driving and shooting skills Fast and Furious. Higher technical levels make it easier to work with hardware, and Cool dictates V's ability to endure difficult situations, appear capable to other characters, and withstand pressure, fear, and pain. And apparently, as players advance, level up, and acquire more points to allocate, their V will become more defined by higher level capabilities, which of course makes sense with the RPG aspect. And each of these core skills split into perk trees. The perks split between shotguns, melee, blades, rifles, handguns, assassination, nerve, sniper rifles, athletics, engineering, and hacking will be gated by the level of the respective core skill with points to select perks accumulating as the player levels up. And these perks will have considerable influence on player builds, gameplay styles, and the narrative. So the outcome. <laughs> Oh, 
so just to the conclusion here, you know, obviously the the level and depth of customization here makes it so everybody will have a different experience. The way it is set up because of all the customization, it makes it so that there will be a lot of consequential scenarios because of what you've chosen to say or do. It causes numerous possibilities for the way V can approach situations and numerous possibilities for how NPCs will be viewing you. And just as the last thing, basically, is with so much customization potential, a range of gangs to get involved with, and a much less clearly defined lead character, Cyberpunk promises a very different brand of storytelling to The Witcher, one that is defined and charted by the player's decisions and capabilities in a more direct and impactful way. Again, I did not play The Witcher 3, but clearly it was pretty great and people loved it. So, you know, it sounds like this is that on speed or steroids. So, I know. <laughs> Uh, no, but it does. It sounds like it's just it's The Witcher 3, but obviously a different time setting and just more to customize, more to do, more scenarios. You know? So, that's what we got, y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up in the comments telling me what y'all are most excited about, what kind of combinations you're going to want to make with your character. I'm here for all of it. I'll share mine later once I actually decide what I'm going to do. But I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? AGP out. Peace.